Obstetric violence is a form of gender-based violence and it occurs all over the world in both high and low income countries. The intent, the profession, the sex or gender of the abuser is completely irrelevant. Um, the, the, the act of obstetric violence is not about that individual, it's about the, the person that has experienced it themselves. So disrespectful maternity care is rooted in a patriarchal and white heteronormative power structure that is found within medicine. And it's been documented throughout history to have racist practices. The term obstetric violence originated in Venezuela in 2007, when there was little to no midwifery presence and it was coined um, to describe very specific abuses to begin with. And that was things like unnecessary cesareans, unnecessary intervention of any sort, examinations without consent, separation from your baby or your partner and disrespectful and abusive treatments. In more recent years, it's been expanded to cover various areas and elements of violence against birthing people within the perinatal period. So it's not solely around birth. Um, there is a strong history of paternalism in the medical system, particularly in reproductive health. And there's still a lot of controversy over the term and why we choose to use it. But it's really, really important that we we stick to language that is powerful, even if it causes discomfort. And we acknowledge the harm and the trauma that's being inflicted on those people by those actions. We don't say to victims of domestic or sexual abuse that they were participants in the trauma that they experienced because it minimizes what's happened to them. And it's insinuating that there's some sort of normalcy around that, which is not true, it's not the case. So by addressing how harmful it is and how strong the impact is, it helps to highlight how detrimental obstetric violence can be.